Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 18. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith with God so people here for there. Basically, a, another lesson on a not fearing with this devil coming down the pipeline with, you know? This deceiver, Sleazy E, the Sleazer Mites, got a lot coming down the pipeline. A lot of scare tactics, a lot of torture tactics. He's gonna come down with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. But what, what did the scriptures just say? Because the thing that were written the fourth time was written for our learning, right? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Romans, the 15th chapter, verse 4. Once again, wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha. Chapter 2, verse 18. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, which we are, Yasha Allah, you look up the word just in the Greek, it's um Dikaios. Dikaios. And it means righteous. And we know our righteousness is as filthy rags, but our righteousness come from Lord Yahweh Shai, right? It says observing divine laws. And we do keep the laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of our ability. We fear Yahweh Shai, which is the beginning of knowledge and which is the whole duty of man, right? It says in a wide sense of right, righteous, virtuous, Keeping the commandments of Yahweh, man. You know? That's who the Lord is going to deliver. That's who Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to redeem. Just like the scripture when it says, um, just a lot. You know? It goes back to upright. You, you had Israel, two thirds wicked as hell. And this is in this wicked sinful kingdom, I'm saying you got men of the Lord trying their best to be upright in a wicked society. You have but Shemel Shah said, Look, that's who I'm gonna deliver. I gotta read that again. Wisdom of Solomon. It, it ain't nothing but jewels in these scriptures, man. Nothing but scriptures that comfort us to death, man. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 18. For if the just man, the upright in spirit, the man is keeping the laws, the commandments of the Bible to the best of their ability. The just man that has faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? That's what the scriptures are saying. Be the son of Yahweh, and we are the sons of the living power. Yasha Allah, princes of the power, right? He will help him. That's, who, that's the only people the God of the Bible is going to help. Is Israel and the elect on this side. It's look, look, fear not, thou worm Jacob. The God of the Bible is going to help us, right? And deliver him from the hand of his enemy. That's why it ain't nothing to fear. We ain't fearing this devil coming down with great wrath, knowing that he got a short time to rule. We ain't fearing it when he come in trying to make it mandatory to take the vaccine, making it mandatory to just take the RFID chip. The God of the Bible said, look, I'm going to lift up a standard against that devil. Look at the generations of old, one of my favorite. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any uh, trust in Yahweh by Shemiah Shah was forsaken or ever, ever any abide in his fear and was confounded or whoever did he spies they call upon his name, none. We princes, see, Israel keep forgetting. We princes of the power. We Yasha Allah, man. We mean something to Yahweh by Shem Shai, not you other nations, man. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. You had this devil trying to turn Jacob to transhumanism, man. Have robot, have man. 
cyborgs, man. And to you who are troubled, we troubled on every side, as the scriptures have said, right? Rest with us, rest with us within these scriptures, Yasha Allah. Rest with us within these scriptures, Yasha Allah, princes of the power, you Israelites. You constantly be in trouble by this devil. Your only protection is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai within these words, right? When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. See, the Lord said, I ain't gonna meet you as a man. He coming back to do this devil something bad, man. The Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, our Lord and Savior, our protector, our redeemer. You know, our creator is coming back with flame and fire, man. In flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh, and they obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. That's why the scripture says, "All the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness." It's all about having faith in Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Look, if the Lord say, "Don't fear, don't fear," Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Look, don't fear what this devil can do to you. Oh, look, I'm right there. I, I never left. I'm right there with you in spirit. And I got the angels that kept around the bar. I gotta get that. Let's get that Psalms. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. This is Psalm chapter 34, verse 6. This poor man cried. Which that poor man represents you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua, heard him. He heard the cries. He heard the sighs and the cries, right? And saved him out of all his troubles. Look, and that's getting ready to happen again. Yahweh Shai is going. Our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come and show off, man. He going to show up, come and show off. When you least expect it, he going to come and deliver you, man. When you least expect it, when that enemy come in like a flood. And save him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord. And kept it round about them that fear him. And delivered them. Yeah, delivered them out of all their troubles. So this devil, this sleazer might, you know what I'm saying, will try to come down with. He's going to come down with wrath. And he's going to get the majority of you, you Israelites. But that they elect that small remnant. That believes on your how about Shemiah Shah cold hearted, but the true worshippers. Oh, a savior is getting ready to come, man. You can believe it. And Lord Yahweh Shah been waiting a long time. Well, he's only been waiting two days, but it's been over two thousand years for us, man. He's coming. Proverbs chapter 30. Verse 5. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto all of them. They put their trust in him. And we know more definitely we put our trust in Yahweh by Shemiah Rashai. We have no power. We have no strength. Our strength lies within these words. And in the belief that Yahweh by Shemiah Rashai can save and can deliver. The average Israelite think this book is a fairy tale book. But look, you're going to see it come to pass. If you're not paying attention now, soon come, you will pay attention when you see the men of the Lord flying. Disappearing, reappearing, healing people, healing the sick, healing the dead. You know? Job chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, look, there shall no evil touch thee. Because by the time I see them missiles hit this place, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be and got beamed up in those chariots, man. And they're going to be out of here. And the rest of the Israelites, the two-thirds that did take heed to the words of Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, that wasn't chosen to get on that ride, are going to be consumed by way of fire, right? It says, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. That's why it ain't nothing to fear. Remember, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, but all the non-believers, all the scoffers and mockers, you shall be ashamed, you shall die thirst, you shall die of famine. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, man. And the modern day sword is the gun. 
and another swore is Sneezy E coming down with a rap. The guy the Bible said during all these times. When it get real heavy, when it get real hectic and heavy out here, look, I'm going to deliver you from this violent, evil man. I'm going to deliver you. Only thing you got to do is believe. Only thing you got to do is do what is right and what's just until I come. Because you know I'm coming. You're seeing all the signs. Everything that I said was going to happen right before I come is happening. So why, so why not put our trust in Yahweh by Shemi Shot? Everything that the God of the Bible said was going to happen is happening right now before our eyes. All of it is happening in Israel. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18 And the Lord Yahweh by Shemi Shot shall deliver me from every evil work. The famine, the class wars, the race wars, you know, cannibalism, the concentration camps, Nuclear fire, all that man, from every evil work, from the vaccines, from the different diseases, the different plagues, from every evil work, man, from the clutches of two thirds and these heathens and these sleazomites, and will preserve me unto his heaven. Let's get it. Let me, let me turn the page right quick. Until his heavenly kingdom, me and being delivered, man. To whom be glory forever and ever. Our mind, man. So we most definitely got to give praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son for even writing scriptures like this down. For giving us hope during these perilous times. Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, power which are the angels, is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine because a great famine is coming and the scripture tell us to die by way of famine that's the worst kind of way to die the lord said when that famine pop off guess what you ain't got to worry about nothing I'm going to deliver you from it Meaning I'm going to give you some food I'm going to make sure you eat You've been down here serving me While everybody else neglected me Everybody else forsook the words of Yahweh You remain strong You remain still You kept the faith Sure enough He going to deliver you from that famine To keep thee alive in famine Our soul waited for the Lord he is our help and our shield, you know, for our hearts, meaning our minds, shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. And that's right. We're coming in the name of Yahweh. We got faith in that name. We believe in that name. You know, we ain't fearing nothing. The scripture said, I, I want to get it. Let's get Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer Yeah the men of the Lord are going to suffer But the scripture said don't fear nothing That comes upon you Behold the devil The deceiver Sleazy E Shall cast some of you into prison A.K.A. them concentration camps The Lord said if you do end up in the concentration Concentration camp You don't think that I got the power to deliver you from it He delivered the apostle Peter from prison and many other the apostles and disciples man they all got delivered from whatever situation that befell them man you know that ye may be tried get thrown into prison to be tried and ye shall have tribulation meaning you're gonna catch some hell 10 days be thou faithful and that's just a period of time could be 10 could be longer be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life and you might have to lose your life. Fear not though Jacob. Fear not Israel. The Lord is on our side. Yahweh by Shem Shah is on our side Israel. In Luke chapter 12 verse 7. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore. Ye are more value than many sparrows. Also, I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, and are we doing that? 
on, we on the highways, on byways, weekend and week out doing sit down videos, confessing your how about Shem Yahusha. Are we not doing that? Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Mill, so we doing that, right? We confessing your how about Shem Yahusha to the whole world. Also, I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High. So right about now, Lord Yahweh is confessing us to the angels, man. That's why we got angels that kept round about us. Cause we confessing the names of Yahweh by Shem Shai. So show sure enough, man. We got protection. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. The power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything too hard for you? How about Shem Yahushai? He said he, he going to deliver you. Is, is that too hard for you? How about Shem Yahushai? When he said he already know what the hairs on your head. The creator of everything. Is it too hard? Look, a power that created the heavens, man. A power that created the different planets. You think it's too hard for him to deliver you from some enemies, man? Once again, Jeremiah, because the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Behold, which means to look. I am the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Shai, the power of all flesh. Is there anything? too hard for me the answer is no Israel there ain't nothing out there too hard for you how about Shem Yahushai man nothing at all you know the scriptures say fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer so look don't fear nothing which thou shalt suffer man this Lord Yahweh shall speak is written in red red all over the screen put your trust in the Lord don't put your trust in man don't put your trust in this government St. Luke chapter 18 Verse 7 And look And shall not Yahweh By Shem Shai Avenge his own elect Remember Those that are troubled Rest with us When our power shall be revealed from heaven With flame and fire Taking vengeance on them That know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect. That's why the Lord is coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel. Which cry day and night until him. Remember, we sign and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. The elect of the nation of Israel sign and cry to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Look, they want to get the hell out of here. They ain't trying to build here. The elect of the nation of Israel is crying to the Lord. They ain't trying to build nothing here, man. They're trying to get the hell out of here. Right? Which cry day and night unto him. Though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh, shall come in, Shall he find faith on the earth? Because a whole lot of people are going to lose faith. It's going to get that bad. It's going to seem like all hope is lost. Lord willing, we're not of that number. That's why you got to build up your faith now. Woe to them that has lost patience. Woe to you Israelites that stop trusting in your how about Shem Shai. They got tired of waiting on your how about Shem Shai, man. Woe to you. The Lord is coming back to avenge the elect, man. Help from heaven is coming. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. You sign and cry, right? The Lord hears your prayers. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Look, look, we in good hands. The Lord said he's going to help us, right? Saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, man, is going to come and help us. Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hands, 
and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Yeah, this devil coming down with wrath. He's going to come down with the vaccine. He's going to come down with the chip, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. He's going to throw you in the concentration camps. It's going to be a famine. Oh hell, wars, rumors of wars, World War III gonna pop off. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Now how many scriptures have we read already? Saying our power is gonna come with vengeance. Out of the mouth of two, three witnesses, let every word be established. Your power will come with vengeance. This devil think he's doing something. He ain't doing nothing. The, the Lord will come and show off, man. Your power will come with vengeance. Even your power with a wreaking piss to pay these people back for what they did to his men. And to his nation. He will come and save you and throw a Terry. Wait for it. Because it will not Terry. It will surely come. It seems like it's taking a long time for this scripture to play out. But look, it's going to come, Israel. And when it comes, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be glad. They're going to be thankful that they waited on the Lord. 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble in heaven is coming, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Remember, my servant shall eat. Remember Isaiah? What is it? Isaiah 64? Well, look, look we'll, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that right quick. That's a bad scripture right there, man. You know? Isaiah 65. Let's read Isaiah 65 right quick. Isaiah chapter 65. Verse 13, therefore, thus said the Lord, behold, my servants shall eat. Fear not, right? Thou worm Jacob, but ye shall be hungry. The ones of our people that turn their backs on you, how about Shemaphshah, you went back into the world and you non-believers. Look, look, ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You're going to be ashamed that you turn your back on your high up by Shemel Shai. You neglected to hear the warning. You neglected to hear the words of your high up by Shemel Shai. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. You're serving the Lord, right? To the best of your ability, right? All you Israelites out there, the are serving the Lord to the best of your ability. You're serving them, right? You're servants, right? Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. It shall howl for vexation of spirit. Two thirds, y'all in trouble, man, with the God of the Bible. But to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, fear not. Once again, 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 27. Be not weary. For when the day of trouble, Jacob's trouble, we're in the midst of it, right? When all hell break loose, when this devil come in like a flood. For when the day of trouble in heaven is coming, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shall be merry and have abundance. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai going to make sure the men of the Lord are taken care of, man? All right? So we ain't got nothing in the world about. And the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. I want to get that. I want to close it off on that. This is Romans. Chapter 15. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. And it reads, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Have patience, Israel. Fear not, Israel. Our power is coming with vengeance. Shalom.